All right, man. Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Pretty sloppy game. Could have won by a lot more. Didn't love Mike McCarthy's play calling once again. I thought he looked a little bit better in the first half of the game. But in the second half, I thought he got a little stagnant. And to be completely honest with you, Dak carried the load. Stuff wasn't open. He got pressure. He did a great job getting out of the pocket and making stuff happen. So I wanted to break down how he was able to do that. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. All right, first play here, Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott. All we got here, stop to the sticks up here, little banana in, drift post, whatever you want to call it. And it's the same thing on both sides, drift post, stop. Dak right here can choose whatever side he wants. He chooses the bottom side right here, so it's just one here, two here. Those are your two options. Hopefully one of, the, one of them gets open. They're in man right here. Watch Ferguson, he's looking at Ferguson. Doesn't like that because Derwin James is driving down on it. Comes back to CD, puts it on him. First down, great completion. Watch the eye moving here, snap the ball. Doesn't like Ferguson, flip your eyes, boom. Right on CD, great job. Next play here, we get a call that I like once again. CD right here, over the top on a post. Got Brandon Cooks coming underneath it here, and then got Gallup following behind. Backside, you just got smashed. You got like a flatter and out, and you got a corner on top. Once again, Dak can pick which side he wants to work to. He wants to work the top. So all the reads is, it's high, low to Brandon Cooks and CD here, and then it's three back to Michael Gallup. So Dak is going to read this guy right here. If he comes down on this in route right here, throw it over the top to CD. If he backpedals with CD, let's throw it underneath to Brandon Cooks, and if both of them are taken away, come back to Michael Gallup. The Chargers make this pretty easy on Dak right here. Watch the backer. You see him drive down on Brandon Cooks. Dak throwing with pretty decent anticipation here, already getting ready to release the ball. CD just now coming out of his break into all this open grass. Put it on him. Big chunk play. Get the ball in CD's hands, bro. It's not that hard. Watch it from this angle right here. Watch number nine. Watch that backer. Watch him drive down on Brandon Cooks. Drive down. Dak releasing the ball. Has his foot in the ground, driving off that back foot. Put it on his face mask. Let's go. Next play here, a great play call by Mike McCarthy, in my opinion. We're going to get a little fast motion by Brandon Cooks. He's going to get on a wheel. I want to see more of this fast motion. It really helps spread out the defense and lets Dak know what coverage they're in. But regardless of the motion, we then come to this post, like a skinny seamish post. And then you have Ferguson on a dig right here. All Dak is reading is Derwin James. If he drives this dig, let's throw the post. If he drops back with the post, let's throw the dig. Dak does a great job, great, great, great job seeing it, throwing with anticipation, he just got to put this on him. Watch it here. Derwin drives. He, he's looking at Derwin right when he sees Derwin drive. He's hitching. Before Gallup is even getting here, he's going to release the ball. Watch it here. Boom. Just got to put that on him, man. Dang it, that's a touchdown. Watch it from this angle right here. Dak sees it, sees him drive, brings his eyes back to the post. Boom. Just put it on him. One of Dak's only bad throws of the day. Next play here, love it by Mike. Once again, I told you he was looking a little creative in the first half. Not sure what happened, but once again, love it. We're going to get CD motion across. This guy's going to follow CD over, brings him out of the play. We're trying to run Tony here, like this right here to the outside. We're going to get these two guys pulling, but we added a read on top of it. So this is the read. If he squeezes, Dak pull. If he stays upfield, give it to the back. We need to see more of this because watch what happens when Dak gets a read. Boom, he squeezes, pull it, touchdown. Great job, great drive, let's go. Watch the read from back here, pretty easy read. Squeezes really, really hard, tackles Tony. Where you going, bro? Touchdown, Dak. Next play here, an empty. This is pretty simple. You got CD on a slant right here, off coverage, outside leverage. He's going to win this every day of the week. Just get the ball into your playmaker's hands and let him do something after the catch. Pretty easy, quick game, put it on him. Not too hard. Great yak. Get the ball to C.D. Lamb. Next play here got empty once again. We're just trying to run a little four verts. Here, 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 here. And then we have Tony coming underneath all of it on an end if you don't like the verts. The Chargers are going to send some pressure. So Dak gets pressure pretty fast. No one's really open. He does a great job making a guy miss. And then going and getting a pretty good gain with his legs. Did this all night long, and he was a big reason why we kept moving the chains. Next play here, pretty easy. Just got double slant by Tolbert, and then on the outside, got Gallup. You're just reading it end out. This guy drives down on, on this slant. We're going to take this one. If he would have sat back over here and they were in a zone, 
you would have took this slant here. But he drives down on it because they're in man coverage. So Dak looks at the first one, boom, doesn't like it because that guy's driving on it. Comes back to the outside, wide open, easy seven yards. Watch his eyes from right here. Looks at the first one, doesn't like it. Looks at the outside one, boom, ball right on him, easy yardage. Next play here, man, this one, I mean, Dak Prescott, man, puts this on a freaking dart. I love it. Great aggressiveness, great job seeing. I think this is kind of a, a coverage mess up, mess up. I think they're supposed to be here and here, but this guy comes down in the box, which leaves Gallup one-on-one -on -one with inside leverage or outside leverage of the corner on a post. So obviously you want to take that all day long. And I mean, Dak just puts it right on him. I mean, it's perfect. I mean, ball right on him. I mean, in the breadbasket, man. You cannot put that ball any, more, any better. Gallup drops it, almost turns into a pick. Watch it from this angle right here. Get your drop. One, two, three. Hitch. Ball. Right on the money. God, you got to catch that, bro. You have to catch that. Next play here, it's third and seven. Don't make it harder than it needs to be, Mike. You got CD on a stop up here. It's third and seven. This guy is scared to death of CD beating him over the top, so he's playing 10 yards off. Let's just take the stop. Let's just take it. I'll take it all day of the week, every single day. Boom, ball on him. Take the easy first down. Move the chains. Next play here, we got a little mesh corner. Mesh here, mesh here, corner by CD, flat by Ferguson. Really just, you can read this like smash over here, so corner flat on this corner. They're in like a cover two look to the top of the screen, so he's over the top. This guy's in the flat. If you want to throw this, if this corner is down here like this, you got to throw it over him, and you can't let the safety get to it. That's exactly what Dak does. That's your number one on this play, that corner by CD. Watch the corner up top. You see how he's driving the flat route here? Since he was sitting on this flat route a little bit, it gives you all this space to throw into. And Dak throws a laser once again on the money. Big, big chunk. First down. Next play here, just take what the defense gives you. You got to come back up top on a corner playing way off that's just going to drift off at the snap. Just take the comeback. It's not very complicated. Pretty easy, obviously. Let's just take it. Look away, come back, hitch, ball, round the money. First down again. Great job. Next play here, and oh my gosh, man, Dak Prescott. Who knew he still had this in him? Come back up top, curl right here, out to the sticks here, and then a go here. We're really trying to work this uh, out to CD. Dak doesn't like it, so he tries to come back to the top of the screen where Cooks and Ferguson are at, but he gets pressure so he can't. Feels this pressure, watch him. Get a little juke. Oh, get out of there. <laughs> Keep your eyes downfield. Make a crazy throw to uh, Pollard. And let Tony do what he does in the open field. Can't believe my guy got a hawked up here. But <laughs> huge play. We'll take it. Big momentum shift. Watch Dak in this pocket right here. If this was Mahomes or Allen, people would be talking about it for months. But since he has a star on his helmet, that won't happen. Hell of a play. Hell of a play. Hell of a play. Simple as that. Not much else you can say. And Tony, great job breaking that tackle, getting a lot of yards after the catch. Next play here, another great play by four. We got smash up top, corner, out. That's guarded. That's what Dak wants to work. Has to come off of it because it's not there. Then you got CD on a t return here, and then you got Gallup as your four on the comeback. So this is one up top, this smash concept, and then you come back to two here, three here, Four to the swing by the running back. Dak does a great job here looking at the smash. Doesn't like it. Steps up in the pocket. Keeps his eyes downfield. Looks at CD. Puts it on him. Once again, big chunk. Puts it in a great position to score a touchdown. Next play here. Got a little mesh in the red zone. Boom here. A little bit over the top. And then CD kind of... And then posting it over the middle of everything. Dak finds Brandon Cooks. Not, I wouldn't say he's even close to wide open. They do a pretty good job passing that off. But Dak kind of just flicks it out there, puts it on a dime for Brandon Cooks. First touchdown. Watch it right here. Dak's going to backpedal to buy himself some more time. Sees Brandon Cooks. You know that he ain't keeping up with Brandon Cooks. Float it over the top. Put it in his bread basket. Big time, big time touchdown. Next play here. Another great job by four. We got dig up top. Crosser here. Go here to clear everything out. And we got this little stick route, ish route, whatever you want to call it here. The point of this play, we're trying to drag this safety down to be able to throw this crosser 
or to be able to come back to the dig if the crosser is guarded. But Dak gets so much pressure here that he has to step up in the pocket. Watch, gets pressure instantly in his face. Rico Dowdle gets killed. Does a great job, though, stepping up, getting out, keeping his eyes downfield. CD, scramble drill, money. Big junk, chunk play once again. Watch the angle from right here. Rico Dowdle gets blown up. Dak has to step over, step up, keep your eyes downfield. Put it on him. Easy completion. Let's go. Next play here, all we got, we got Brandon Cooks up here acting like he's going to run a sluggo, so fake slant up, and then he shuts it back down and is wide open because this guy's scared of him vertical. Obviously, it's Brandon Cooks. We then have a seam by CD if you want to take that, and then you have Ferguson helping out and getting out as your check down right here, and then you have Gallup backside on a stop if you want to work this one-on-one. -on -one. But Dak likes the one-on-one -on -one to Cooks, throws this with great anticipation, hitch, ball. He's Look, look he's already separated right here. Already separated. Cooks is still looking this way. Great job. You have to throw this with a ton of anticipation because it's such a far throw from the boundary to the field. Puts a little high, but Brandon Cooks does a great job coming down with it. Huge, huge, huge first down. Next play here. All we got, we got CD running the seam. We then got Brandon Cooks running the deep corner to the pylon. Then we have Michael Gallup coming underneath everything. We have Ferguson running the seam here. And then the best part of this play motion Tony Pollard out, get him on like a little weird motion. They're in man coverage, which gets CD or uh, Tony Pollard one-on-one -on -one with this linebacker, which is exactly what happens, is exactly what we wanted to happen, and it works out perfectly. And you could honestly argue that Tony's got to catch this or that uh, Dak has to make a better ball. I personally think it's Tony Pollard's fault. I think he could have made this catch a lot easier. Dak does a great job looking off the safety, so... He can't be in on this play, so it's literally just Tony, which is already leaving the linebacker one-on-one. -on -one. He looks this guy off, so he's not even close to the play, like I said. And then he puts it out there, and I mean, can Tony not? I mean, it is a hard catch from where Tony was at. I'm not saying Tony should have caught it like that, but what I am saying is that uh, could he not have just adjusted to the ball a little bit better? Like, you see the ball here. Why not just, like, move yourself out a little bit and go get underneath it? I think if that's CD or Brandon Cooks, they make this catch look really easy. Tony Pollard makes it harder than it needs to be. He kind of adjusts to it too late, which is just part of him being a running back. You can blame it on Dak or Tony. I understand if you want to blame on the quarterback, but I'm going to blame this one on Tony. But either way, we got to find a way to connect there. That's a huge play, and that would have sealed the game for sure. Obviously, we still go uh, end up winning it. Gilly gets a game-winning pick. But overall, man, Dak... Looked like a freaking beast. He played to the level that we all know he's capable of playing at. Did a lot with his legs that we haven't seen him do in, a, in quite a while. Threw the ball well. Was super accurate. The play calling wasn't perfect, but Dak still found a way to overcome it. So hopefully, as the play calling gets better and better, we'll see Dak just continue to play better and this offense continue to play better. And hopefully, we'll see the run game get better. And if that happens, we have just as good of a chance to go all the way as anybody else. But like I said, that has to happen. But... Y'all let me know your thoughts on how Dak played. I think he played great. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.